Hey, what's up guys? It's all about Faith, Love, Hope and welcome to the vlog. Today, I share ko sa inyo bakit nga ba ako nag-resign from my dream job. Ano ba yung dream job ko? Actually, I'm currently an accounting associate in a local company here sa Taguig area lang. I'm currently handling accounts payable. Yun talaga yung dream job ko. Ever since na nahawakan ko yung accounts payable, yun na talaga as in yung gusto kong laging ginagawa. Natrabaho siya, oo, oh, oh, pero gustong-gusto ko siya. Hindi ko maintindihan. <laughs> so, yeah. Actually, that's my dream job. I'm currently um, working in an office. Until January 31 na lang ako doon sa company na yun. And bakit nga ba ako nag-design? Yung mga reasons why nag-resign yung mga employees is one, mababa yung sahod nila. Two, um, hindi nila kasundo yung naging boss nila. Three, sa lagi yung office dun sa dinitirhan nila. Four, napagod sa schedule. Fifth, toxic yung mga kasama sa trabaho. Or even yung trabaho mismo. So, actually, those five reasons are the reasons why I decided to resign from my previous jobs. Yung mga dating mga work ko, yun yung mga reason ko bakit ako umalis. Malayo, mababa yung sahod. So, but none of those reasons bakit ako nag-resign dito sa aking dream job. In dream job ko, they offer me a lot of, you know, opportunities to grow dito sa field na to. And, um, hindi mababa yung sahod ko. I am earning more than enough for me, Colleen, and I still, um, I still can help my parents. Natutumuan ko si Shin, of course, sa mga bills namin dito sa unit. So, hindi mababa yung sahod ko. Hindi siya malayo kasi I'm currently residing in Taguig and yung work ko is within Taguig as well. Um, schedule. Yung schedule ko perfect. 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So, um, hindi, hindi rin siya tungkol sa schedule. And for that, Toxic people, kasama naman yun eh, sa lahat ng trabaho. Talagang may mga toxic people, even yung work mo, nakaka-stress. So, hindi yun yung reason bakit ako nag-resign. The main reason bakit ako nag-resign is because of my daughter. Just a little background or history. Last year before mag end in 2018, nadalag mo siya two consecutive months of dengue. So, October, November na dengue siya. And noong November, na-hospital na siya. We stayed in the hospital for, I think, five days. And, um, ayun, one night, nung nandun pa kami sa hospital, may isang doktor na um, bumisita kay Colleen and told us na dengue cases gets worse. Huwag na daw namin paabutin pa ng third and fourth case pa. So, of course, diba, as parents, nag-worry kami. It's not about always earning more. Siyempre, kami parents na kami. It's now all about Colleen. Diba? Anihin mo naman yung madaming pera if hindi mo naman naaalagaan yung anak mo, diba, ng maayos. Hindi mo siya nagagabayan. Hindi mo siya talaga nag-guide. So, the main reason why I decided to resign from my dream job is because of my daughter. Siyempre, hindi lang basta resignation yung solution. Of course, kailangan ko pa rin tulungan si Shin sa mga bills natin. Kaya niya. Kaya niya kaming buhayan. But of course, di ba, there will be times na masyashort kami. Baka may emergency. Di ba, hindi ko siya matutulungan. So, nandyan din yung parents ko. I still have siblings na nag-aaral. So, I still need to earn money. That's why I decided to pursue this ideal job I knew. Ano nga bang meron dun sa ideal job na yun? Bakit yun yung pinuperso mo ngayon? Um, first, you can work at the comfort of your ho own home. Kahit nasa bahay ka, kahit nasa hotel ka, kahit nasa resort ka, as long as may laptop and wifi ka, makakapagtrabaho ka. Kikita ka. Second is, um, some of your clients may allow you to work at your own convenience. Kasi ako, like yung mga clients ko, 
bahala ako kung anong oras ako magtatrabaho as long as natatapos ko yung trabaho. Kasi may mga clients that will pay you full time. May mga clients naman ang magbayad sa iyo per hour. Kung ilang oras pa siya tinrabaho, yun yung big time. Yun yung pasahod. Yung iba in Philippine peso. Yung iba naman is dollars. Ganun yung pagkapasahod sa kanya. Yung work is minsan full time, minsan part time. So, depende sa kasunduan niya ng client. Yun. Parang hindi makatotohan na, no? Yung, yung ideal job na sinasabi ko. But there is existing job na sobrang ideal. Lalo na sa mga uh, parents. Right? So, na, nalaman ko siya noong year 2017. Actually, I started doing this um, year 2017 pa. Pero since nga, I still have a full-time job in an office, hindi ko siya talaga, hindi, mo, hindi ko siya priority. Extra income lang siya for me. And um, now nga na kailangan namin tutupan si Kulin, kailangan kong tutupan si Kulin. Nag-decide ako na um, mag-full-time sa kanya. So, I'm still closing deals with clients. This will be the happiest decision in my life. You know, to focus on my daughter and focus on this ideal job as well. Ano nga ba yung ideal job na sinasabi ko? This ideal job will be freelancing. Freelancing. Yes, I am currently a freelancer. Since 2017 until now. Nag-freelance ako. Um, I just have clients. They're my boss, but yung clients ko is not from Philippines. I just wanted to share with you guys, lalo na dun sa mga naghahanap ng, um, you know, ng online job na legit. This is, I am a living proof na merong trabaho na. Merong legit job na online, as in. Tapos, um, I'm still thinking if, uh, gusto nyo ba? na i-share ko sa inyo yung mga online job platforms na alam ko na legit. So, if you guys wanted to know more about these online jobs, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. So, if makita ko na may mga interested sa inyo, then I will um, film a video regarding those platforms and i-share ko yun sa inyo. That's all for this video and thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you on our next vlog. Bye!